Gunfire and clashes welcome in the Thai New Year in Bangkok. Celebrations were replaced by pitched street battles. Soldiers shot live ammunition, and protesters used hijacked buses as missiles. The army has moved in to end months of protests by demonstrators who believe the current government is illegitimate. The red shirts say they'll keep going until Prime Minister Abhisit Wechachewa resigns. We don't have fear. We just do, do what we believe. We believe the democracy is here, and they never take this from us. The military refused to intervene last year during protests by the Red Shirts' rivals, protests that helped bring down the previous government. Now soldiers are answering the call of the new Prime Minister to restore order, an about-face that has infuriated the demonstrators. The army, the bureaucracy, the courts uh, have underpinned the rise of uh, the Apisit government and the Democrat Party. So this is sort of the, uh, a sense of uh, injustice and the sense that they have been robbed of their electoral uh, uh, choice. Uh, and that's why they are in deep rage. The rage is not just about who runs the country, it's also about class. The Red Shirts support tax in Shinawat, the Prime Minister ousted in a 2006 military coup. Taksin championed the cause of the rural poor and still commands their loyalty. Today's protests are also a challenge to the Bangkok elite. It needs to happen this way since Thailand reaches the crossroad of itself. Economically, it's a modern state. Socially and politically, it has been a feudal state. So drastic change needs to be done here. What you're seeing now is the beginning of a revolution. The stakes are high in Thailand today, and both sides seem willing to take their fight until the bitter and possibly bloody end.